All righty, guys, what's going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews back again for another episode on this weird day. It's like kind of windy, kind of sunny, kind of wanting to rain, kind of just being weird, but whatever. Uh, I had to get a couple done, so here I am. Uh, before we get started, I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com backslash Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Apparently, these bags are just crazy hole friendly. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, if you want to support me there, that'd be awesome. I basically purchase bags with the Patreon funds, and then I review them, and then I give them right back to the patrons. So, decent little setup there. Uh, secondly, this episode is sponsored by Black Sheep Baggers, blacksheepbaggers.com in the description. Awesome apparel, uh, jerseys, you know, like got hoodies, t-shirts, jerseys, hats. Uh, they make boards. They have awesome bags. You guys know how I feel about them. Just go check those guys out. Awesome customer service. Just love working with them. They're awesome, awesome guys. So, go check them out. Link is in the description below. Uh, but today, we have the Crazy 8 Bag Company. Dominator. You guys have to see these graphics before I even start. Things are ridiculous. They're so sweet looking. Kind of grateful style with, you know, white carpet. Love a white carpet on a carpet bag. You know, I got the eight ball with a skull and all that. Very cool. I should have brought out the other set that Dan sent me. He sent me a set for review and then said, hold off. I want to send you my new template. Basically what he did was he rounded the corners a little more and uh, it, he made a really, really nice bag. Big difference. The The first bag played really well, and I liked it, but it was pretty square. This one's more rounded, and it's pretty awesome. But we'll get into all the details. Uh, they are not ACL stamped. Not a huge deal. You know, don't throw them at your regionals and stuff, but throw them at all your other blind draws. That's kind of what I plan to do, because I love them. Uh, not ACL stamped, but not a huge deal. They are $75 shipped from the crazy eight bag company facebook page okay so how he's going to do it is kind of do like limited releases uh i don't know if it's going to like 10 or 20 sets at a time something like that and you just get in on the releases and he ships them right to you uh, he does have another series coming out sometime soon more in like the seven nine speed range uh they're going to be fast but stupid hole friendly so keep an eye out for those as well but let's get into uh break-in method so with these i did it kind of how i do tango style right because i don't necessarily like to condition carpet but anything that resembles a tango to me i will condition so what i did first was put it through the washer with a uh, wrinkle guard and then tumble them and i was talking to him and i was like man are these like more thick than usual or what because i just cannot get them to break down and he showed me a broken down so he said no they'll get there you just got to work on them a lot I said okay and then i was like whatever i'll condition them so i decided to i conditioned them i did both sides and uh, i just went rinse them out really really well and uh, i also washed them very well with dawn you guys know i love dawn and I, I scrubbed the absolute crap out of these and then i just threw them in the dryer for you know hour two hours whatever made them feel soft and floppy and now they actually feel really really good uh the speeds on these they are a he advertises as a four to five on the slow eight to nine on the fast personally for me how they're playing right now they're more like a five nine they're right where tangos are, you know, that five, nine speed range. And I like that. It's good for a bag of this nature. Um, three Fs, we have fill, feel, and flop. So the fill is kind of kind of circular, kind of medium-sized circular. It's not bad. Um, if you're a fill snob, you're not going to love it in your hand, but both these materials are thick enough that you don't feel it too much. And the fill is what lends this bag to be able to do what it does. And I'll get into that in a second. But the fill, it doesn't bother me whatsoever being a carpet thrower but if you're not used to a carpet bag you might not love it um that's all right the feel of them awesome both materials are great i love the softness of the carpet uh, the fast side is that synthetic feel on fast side and it's, it's pretty quick but it's nice feels good in the hand corners are great edges are good closing stitch is awesome uh, everything about it just feels really nice and then the flop they will get floppier than this i know that, that doesn't seem you know it's it's Fairly floppy, but they will get floppier. I know that just because I know tangos. Um, something like this. These are not 100% broken in, but they are at least 85 to 90% broken in. And I would play these in a tournament tomorrow with how they sit right now. So they're in a very, very good spot. Uh, playability. What can you do with a bag? Because this is going to do it. Uh, blocks and pushes, 100%. Cuts, rolls, flops. Um, they airmail really nicely. They drag other bags or near the hole very nicely. It's just... It's one of those utility bags that I just absolutely love to throw. So let's get into it. Let's throw some rounds with them. Forgot what side to stand on when I'm not doing a shootout. Used to throw in two different sets. Get off there, Ant. 
but these things play great. I love them. And huge thank you to Dan with crazy eight for sending these out to me. And he's been answering all the questions I have about them. Cause I've had quite a few that's short. No, it's not I had quite a few questions for him. He's been incredibly responsive, really, really nice guy. See, these things are just, they're so whole friendly for a carpet. They play so nice. And the other thing I will say with a uh, carpet bag, see I got a little cut action on that one. I'm going to step out a little bit and try to drag it still slow side just to push. Oh, I totally whiffed. Wow, you suck. Uh, the only thing I will say with carpet, if you're going to condition it, you're going to condition it, you're going to wash it out really well with Dawn, right? It's still not going to play right for a couple days, okay? I just want to put that disclaimer out there because some people are like, wow, it made my carpet so fast. And that's typically why I avoid conditioning carpet. But on a bag like this, you can condition it. You just have to wash it out very, very well. And then after it's washed out, tumbled, all that, just play with it for a couple days. You know, you got to play with them. I'm going to try to flop here. You got to play with them to get them acting more like carpet. Ah, I missed it. Get it too close to the back. You just have to play with them to get them feeling like, you know, a carpet and playing the way that a carpet should. You know, that's, you can see how sticky that is. Not incredibly sticky, but that's where this bag should be playing at. It's not just climbing up the board, falling in the hole. You know, it's not like that at all. It's, it's where it needs to be. And that's because I do play with them quite a bit after I condition and wash them. So just make sure you guys do that. I am going fast side here. So pray for me. Uh, see if I can keep them on. Nope. And that was even like that hit the front of the board. I thought it was front boarding and it still launched off. That's off too. Here come all the poles. Just launched them past. Launched them past onto my concrete driveway. Made one? Yes. Yeah, see how that thing just wrapped around the hole and fell in? That should be in. Ooh, caught the corner. This this fast side's fast. And you guys know how I am with fast sides. I don't throw them often. This fast side is fast, but it is a great push fast side. That's the one thing that I love about it. Absolutely phenomenal for a nice little push. Um, it is similar to the Tango in a sense where if you throw the fast side too hard on a push, you might launch it over the hole. And it's just, that's the nature of the beast with the bag that's this full. That, ah, come on, grab, grab, grab. It's the nature of the beast of the bag this full that is made to be, you know, manipulated. I lost that thing straight off, but it, no problem. It, you know, carpet bags are bags that I throw or can manipulate, right? So a bag like that, it's just, it's tough to keep it in a straight line when you throw it really hard. I will say that. They make for a great block push bag, but just be careful on that push. You know, don't throw it overly hard and you should be okay. So we're just gonna mix it up a little bit here. Try to maybe lay some blocks and uh, get some flops going because these bags flop with ease. Try to show you here. I'm kind of on the right side of the hole there, but I'm still going to try to manipulate around it. Flop over and around. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of flipped up on end and rolled, and I'm fine with that. going to do it again. Ooh, I'm cut a little bit on me. It's just what the bags do. They... They will flop, they will roll, they will cut, they will do crazy, crazy stuff because they're carpets and because they're so full, which a lot of people hate. And I know that. And these might be even a touch more full than tangos just because I throw it too hard, just because the fill is a little different. So they're a little more full than tangos, um, but they do what tangos do. You know, they flop, they, they roll, they do all the wild stuff. Watch this. Oh no, they do all the wild stuff that a carpet bag wants to do. I'm going to try to airmail drag this, maybe get a two for one. We'll see. Short. Oh no. If that bag wasn't there, watch this. As soon as this bag moves, bloop, there it goes. Had to hit it just a little bit more left. But it's, I love how these things play. You know, they're, they may not be pro stamped, but they're sweet. I'll do some my neighbor on her kitchen so I'll try to make this last down and back pretty quick here get up they just play so nice I love the slow side carpet it is amazing I was trying to do that just flop over it ah 
missed it just a little short. Didn't have the right rotation on the bag. But these things flop. I mean, if you if you need a bag that will flop and you like helping out a smaller company, 100% suggest these. They're wonderful, wonderful bags. I love how they play. Love the graphics on them. You know this, you know the tie dye with the skull and the eight ball. Just really, really cool. Just hoping that stops short, but it didn't. So I'm gonna try to flop over it. Shoot a little higher. Bloop. Ah. Beep beep. Sarah Mel to end it. Eh, that works. It wasn't the prettiest, but it works. So that is the Crazy Eight Bat Company Dominator, guys. These things are sweet. Absolutely love them and the look of them. I mean, they're so cool. There's not many bags that I grab and I'm like, those look sweet. And this was absolutely one of them. I opened up the mailbox. I was like, holy crap, dude, those are awesome. You know, they're just, they play nice. They look nice. Uh, Dan is a super nice guy. So awesome customer service, smaller company, but makes really high quality stuff. So 75 shipped, not too shabby. So go follow the crazy eight Facebook page and, uh, that's about all I got. So that's a short and sweet on the Crazy 8 Bag Company Dominator. If you guys like this one, please subscribe, share it with your buddies. What's the next one? Like, whatever. You guys know the drill. I'll see you on the next one. See ya.